right here off the start. I like to pay attention to my concealment line, which is on my mini map, and it's 11.2. I like to use that to justify when I have to turn around based off of where their destroyer is going to be. So I kind of know where their destroyer is going to be by looking at my destroyer on my team. And judging where he is on the map, that's probably where the enemy destroyer is on the map. Though sometimes they're slower and much faster destroyers, so you want to pay attention to the name of them. If it's a like a Ragnar, it's gonna be significantly slower than other destroyers. So I slightly go at a small angle to get closer to the flank side, so I'm not just sitting in the middle of the map. But now I'm. I'm seeing that based off of where my destroyers are, theirs could be closer, so I sort of turn around slowly. Then saw the planes, so I went for a harder turnaround, so I couldn't be punished by the planes or battleships once I'm spotted. So I notice he's at like my max range, so I'm just gonna get a good angle at them to where people behind me to the right can't hit me for a citadel and these people to the left can't hit me for a citadel. I'm more concerned about the people behind me though. So now you're just gonna throw it in reverse. And while I'm undetected, I'm not cutting it and we're towards the Zeiten yet. But once I get detected, I'm going to throw it in that direction. And so this is kind of where the kiting starts for the game. So you're just going to kind of hold this position and go forward and backwards relatively slowly while holding a good distance to the battleships and this will juke their shots that they're shooting at you and they'll hit for minimum damage numbers since you're at an angle so instead of going full speed straight and turning as hard as I can you just get a good angle and you tank the shot. Now you want to pay attention to Zaiten's guns to the left and make sure he's looking at someone else before you give this type of angle to put all guns on the Bismarck. You're going to want to make sure that second battleship's aiming at something else. He's 19 kilometers though, so it's a little too far for him to want to shoot at me anyway. And as I'm slowly driving away, you can tell I'll just turn and hit the brakes. And it'll dodge that battleship salvo almost every time. And I see that their team's driving away from us now. And so I can't shoot anything. So at this point I plan to go dark. So that little counter up at the top where it says detected, that counter is the last time I shot. And after 22 seconds... And you can turn back inward to get a better kiting angle. So I see that with my detection ring where it is, if they have a destroyer out in front of them, I'm risking it right now. So I'm just turning it back around at this point. 
So I'll be backwards by the time I am spotted. And as I'm looking in, I see I'll have a perfect hiding angle on Bismarck here. As he's pushing inward. So I'm just kind of posting up here with a good angle to peel out left. But yet I'm defending myself from other angles. And so I did that random shot there to uh, purposely get myself detected so that they would shoot at me and I could see them, but someone shot right when I shot, so it was pretty useless. But it's a good tactic. If you have good health and they're far away, you can shoot and go detected, and it'll make them shoot at you because you're there, and then you'll be able to see them all without a destroyer helping you out. Though, you'll get pretty madhouse by all of them. And so normally in my situation right now, you'd want to go dark completely until you got behind this island with a better shot on them, but I didn't want them killing my div mates, so I wanted them shooting at me too, so I... I uh, stayed shooting. And I was just running AP in case one of these cruisers stayed broadside, I could punish him. Sadly, all I got was over pin. Because if you run HE, the enemy cruisers know they have a chance to turn around and tuck tail, but if you run an AP, they'll be more encouraged to stay coming at you in a straight line, which will help your team kill them easier, and it'll, uh, basically, yeah, keep them turning out. So sadly, I had the HE there for that broadside, but... Things are looking bad here for me, but uh, by kiting in a couple more minutes, I go for five Nano material nearly kiss on Kashino Psycho Chick. Can you? Like I said, I would not normally have put myself in that position, but since I didn't want my div mate dying so fast, I highlighted myself in the open to take some of the shots. That's why I'm as low health as I am. In this little splint, I'm looking for the Schlieffen that should be over here. He, I'm, I'm thinking he should be right where I'm looking, and I thought I'd spot him and then be able to stay the perfect distance away from him to where he couldn't spot me. But once I see that he's not coming, I kind of give up on the plan. And I, I didn't mean to say Schlieff and I'm in sight. <laughs> So this shot looked really good, but I saw my teammates were going to take him out, so I just didn't shoot because if I shot, I would have been detected again. Here yeah, I'm shooting some stupid torps uh, towards Zyton, in case he's anywhere over there. Those won't make it, only being 6 kilometer torpedoes, but they might make it close enough to freak him out a little bit and have him uh, dodge a direction, slow him down. Maybe. <laughs> It's always worth a try. And so I gave uh, Bismarck broad right there because I saw his guns were and I was confident I could turn around without him being able to shoot. When I saw he shot, I slammed the brakes on so I could hold the sideways angle to shoot all my guns again while still dodging his and the other battleship shots. So what I wasn't 
prepared for was this Cleveland to be back here. And he's kind of just spamming me with shells as I'm running away. But since I'm kiting, just going left and right, left and right, you're holding, you're holding that weird wedge to use the battleship's dispersion against them. I just chose to go dark again. Just until I could get a uh, little bit further away from the Cleveland. So since there's no destroyer over there or anything, I could go full broad towards them while still paying attention to those planes. And so right when those planes are getting real close, I'm gonna max turn out to the right. I should have done it a little sooner, but I thought the planes weren't going to go for me as they hadn't gone for me all game, pretty much. But I managed to still, still survive a little bit. So I just keep up the kiting motion. example of kiting uh, just from last game and I wanted to use a normal game like last game because I didn't want it to be some fancy awesome clip that doesn't happen often.